it, but I'll say this. A, um, a Russian ship has um, arrived in a Cuban port. On board that ship are Zircon hypersonic missiles that are in range of the United States. And the United States has nothing that can shoot them down. There's also a Russian nuclear-powered missile, cruise missile uh, submarine in the same area. The weapons on board these two ships have the ability to take the East Coast off of the map of the United States. Um, that's with, of course, nuclear weapons, but they're also precision guided. Um, how does it feel to be in the White House knowing that you're 12 minutes away from dying and there's nothing anybody can do to save you? The Secret Service can't you get you out of the White House fast enough. And it's not a nuclear explosion. It's a Zircon missile that's going to come in and hit the White House. It can't be stopped. If the president's in the White House and the Russians decide to kill him, he's a dead man. Anybody in the United States on the East Coast is a dead man if the Russians decide to kill him. You see, that's what we have done to the Russians. We have them living, living under that. You know, every morning that um, you know, Putin goes to work, he's 12 minutes away from dying if the United States or, uh, you know, Europe wanted to send precision-guided missiles into, uh, into the Kremlin. Uh, in, in the West, we, we seem to think that's okay. Well, guess what? Russia just flipped the script. And if the Russians are who I think they are, I'm imagining that there might be some um, cargo on these ships that stays behind in Cuba. Hmm. And when these ships visit Venezuela, there's some cargo 